I'm going to try to give you a quick demonstration of how to put two pictures together. This is actually a set of six pictures, but I'm only going to do two because I have about a minute. So starting off, you're going to want to figure out, okay, my picture's clear right here, but it's foggy right here. So I got that one coil focused. And you'll notice on this one, I caught almost two entire coils, but I still took six pictures. So what I'm going to do, double click my eraser tool, make sure I have a fuzzy select, and I'm going to close it, uh, maybe raise my size up. I'm going to zoom in really close, make sure I'm clicked on the picture I want to be on. And before you start erasing, you want to add an alpha channel. And you just very neatly erase it. I'm doing choppy right now. It might look decent, but I'm erasing around the coil that's focused. You will have a base picture at the very bottom of your list right here, and that picture will not have an alpha background like this one, an alpha channel. And what that will allow you to do is erase the pictures that are on top of it, and you'll still have a nice clean background instead of this white crap. But you just continue going around your coil. Control Z is undo. That comes in handy. And I'm doing a really shitty job right now, which is for demonstrational purposes. So you just go around your one coil all the way. Make sure uh, I'll lower the size for these parts right here and I'll get in there real good. Okay. I don't do it in the middle unless I feel like I need to because part of it's uh, fuzzy. And you're already seeing the clarity start to pop out in this, so it's fairly self-explanatory past this point. But if you go like this, you can tell the pictures are uneven. So all you got to do is close out of this, get your move tool, and you can come grab the picture you want to move and you just basically line it up exactly with this. If you have a touchpad, it works better because you can move uh, pixel by pixel. But uh, that's basically it, except for the dodge and burn. Um, there's a uh, dodge. And here's burn. You can double click, change the settings. Um, I like to go shadows, highlights, midtones. I like to do them all different. I'll change the exposure even. And uh, basically then after that's done, you just want to find out where you can change your canvas size, lock your orientation, pinch it down to where you want it, resize it, uh, grab your watermark, your logo, whatever you got, toss it in there, and uh, you're basically good to go. I'm assuming you already know how to do your logo and your watermark, so I'm not going to go forward from here.